it's really um, kind of a once in a lifetime event that is happening um, in Texas, in North America. And, and we're really fortunate to be in Texas. There is a tremendous economic boom going on with the shale gas and uh, oil developments here in the state of Texas and around the U.S. But the, the key for Texas is all of that natural gas, and I say all of it, probably 80 percent of it, ends up coming down via pipeline to the Gulf Coast to be processed. And with that boom, there is becoming great opportunities in the chemical industry for the new facilities that are being built here in the Texas Gulf Coast. You know, Houston is seen today as one of the great employment meccas. I mean, it, people recognize that we have one of the strongest economies in the country, in, indeed in the world. And the petrochemical, in, petrochemical industry is a big part of that perception, that reputation. And so what that has done is, is that has created an atmosphere where our chemical industry is investing billions of dollars into the Texas Gulf Coast as far as their, their processing facilities. And we have about $30 billion worth of growth focused on, on the Gulf Coast in the manufacturing, chemical, and refining industry. The uh, expansions will result in uh, net export capacity in this area. There's an opportunity that will allow this area to uh, be a net exporter of end products, be it polyethylene and other petrochemicals. So it's not just status quo, but we're actually looking to increase our footprint, adding another 350 full-time workers um, at our facilities, as well as within the construction and engineering industry. So we're talking about 40 or 50 billion dollars of new investment, tens of thousands of new jobs, construction jobs, you know, thousands of new permanent jobs. So the demand in and around um, the greater Houston and Texas area is just skyrocketing right now. What that has done is create um, just an enormous surge in the need for skilled labor to not only build, construct, and maintain these facilities moving forward for the next 30 to 50 years. With this uh, great expansion, we expect to have over 10,000 uh, construction and engineering jobs and over 400 permanent jobs in our two facilities. These are direct jobs, and not to mention the indirect jobs. Typically, there's a multiplier of two and a half to three for every direct job, so several thousand jobs can be associated uh, with the direct jobs that are created by uh, these expansions. You know, attracting a skilled workforce and having a skilled workforce is absolutely critical. Companies simply won't invest where they have concerns about whether they'll have a quality workforce. We have an aging and, and very um, uh, trained workforce that will be phasing out of their, of their positions. Uh, we have about 30% of our workforce that's becoming retirement eligible in the next five to ten years. So we've got two things pulling against what we need as far as skilled people in the workforce. And, and there's just not time to start from scratch. People don't typically look at our industry as being a high-tech industry. But all you need to do is tour one of our manufacturing facilities and you walk into the control room and you will see digital process control panels and electronic evaluations. And people say it's a simulator. It looks a lot like, you know, uh, gaming devices. But in fact, it's controlling our processes. Uh, the skill level that is needed for quick and rapid decision making and analytical understanding has increased from where it was previously with pneumatic instrumentation controls. These, these jobs that are available now are not the types of manufacturing jobs uh, that, that existed uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Now the, the technology is such that if you don't come to the job prepared to be able to jump in, companies can't take the time to, to, to train you now uh, on the job as it were. East Harris County Manufacturers Association has several high priority goals, but one very significant goal we have is having an educated and available workforce. I think it's becoming increasingly recognized by everyone that the community colleges are absolutely central to this issue. There's really no, there's no system in this region better geared to producing these middle skill jobs as we call them. The community colleges in general are at the forefront of the transformational capacity for workforce in our country. And we are very grateful to our partners in the community college area, in particular Lee College, for providing top quality training. They work very well and very closely with industry to make sure that they're providing the courses 
that feed directly into the, the, uh, the types of jobs and, uh, and critical skills needs that we have out there. The community colleges has been and continues to be uh, being at the forefront of transforming uh, workaday individuals into competent, capable employees, both in the petrochemical industry, healthcare, and beyond. The workers that we're getting in the area that are trained through the college system here are outstanding workers. Uh, they have a great background in their technical skills. They also have a great uh, skill in terms of their teamwork availability. As we go through our fast-paced and changing world, technology has upgraded. And, and it gives the students practical experience on those new technologies. And our workers then at the, at the facilities can seamlessly transfer these new uh, trainees and, and, and people into the, work, into the workforce. Uh, the career opportunities in, in, in this environment are, are broad and huge. You're talking about uh, welders, you're talking about pipe fitters, instrument uh, technology uh, technicians, process operators, and millwrights. Those are really kind of the top five uh, because those are the skills that build and maintain chemical facilities. It's your guys that can put their hands on pipes and fix them, put them together, uh, run the electronics throughout a plant and then control that system once it's up and running. And just to put in a, a brief plug for that, these are great jobs. These are the average salary in the chemical industry is $86,000 a year. And you can reach that number probably within two or three years out of college um, and far exceed that number if you're, if you're willing to work some overtime. Those jobs can be obtained in as little as one year with a certificate and with an associate's degree, you have even further to go. We, we don't even call them jobs anymore, they're careers. Uh, with these jobs come great opportunities and uh, as you're entering the workforce over the next three or four years, we hope that you will consider these as a great career and uh, also consider the great opportunities to stay in this area and work and make a great living.